Hey, good afternoon. It's Nichols Retirement Empire. Um, I'm, I'm going to continue to do a few blogs about education. And the first one that I want to do uh, has to do with the media because it really gets on my nerves, a lot of the things that the media does. And when I say the media, I'm talking about like mainly local uh, uh, local media, especially um, not, not necessarily the print media, although they do it too, primarily television stations. Uh, one of the things they like to do is they like to create a story uh, because, you know, anything that happens at a school, uh, in, in most counties, the school is the biggest employer in the state of Georgia. Uh, the school system, everybody's been through the school system. Everybody has a stake in the school system. The school system's a big deal. So any kind of story that they can create out of that school system, that gets them a lot of attention. That gets them a lot of news. And the way you can tell that they're doing that is when they do stuff like they include the reporter's name on the story. Uh, like uh, such and such reporter, uh, you know, goes after local superintendent for the trick. You know, that kind of thing, when they are putting their name in the story or they're putting their TV station's name in the story, they're doing that, you know, to try to generate news. They're, they they want to be the news you know, not reporting the news of what's happening. It's just they are the news. Um, so that's one thing that they do. Another thing that they'll do, um, and this one really bothers me, is it may be a slow news day and there's not a lot going on. And uh, let's say you get somebody and their their uh, child gets suspended out of school, you know, for whatever reason. And, uh, and they think it's unjust and they think it's unfair. And so what they'll do is they'll call up the local news station and go, uh, my child was falsely accused of such and such, and they got suspended out of school, and then the student that really did it, nothing was done to them. It was total, you know, the school just let them by with it. And so then they'll put that story on the news. <laughs> they have no proof. They have no burden of proof. They don't have to have any proof. All they have to do is say that, um, you know, that this student's father claims that this school did this and then they just put it on the news <laughs> with no and and all they have to do is say well it's it's a, it's something that's of significant public interest which it is because it's the local school and uh, and and we reached out to the school and they always throw this on there on the on the on the news they'll say we reached out to uh, such such a uh, school district and they had no comment well anything that has to do with student information or student uh, discipline, it's against the law for them to divulge any of it. They can't talk about it at all. And the news knows they can't talk about it. And they know they're not going to get a comment. And they act like the school system's dodging, you know, like it's a conspiracy and nobody's answering the question. They can't answer the question if it has to do with student discipline. And, uh, you know, and then it makes it look like, well, what the parent said is true, and this is the only side of the story you get. And, uh, and that's the end of it. And that happens a lot. Uh, and sometimes, I'm not saying the parents are always, you know, lying or whatever, or that the kid's always lying. But I know, I know for a fact there are, in my, just in my experience, um, dozens of times where stuff got reported in the news media that was just an outright lie, out, outright fabrications. And the school can't do anything about it. And the school district can't do anything about it because they can't make a comment because it's against the law for them to comment. So, uh, that really bothers me. And if you're in education, if you're a teacher, you know, things like that, you know, you need to let people know. This is the kind of thing that you would need to share out there because people need to understand that because a lot of people don't. They have no earthly idea that schools can't do that and schools can't comment on that and that people can make all these allegations and that the media can put things like that on television that are just, you know, totally unproven and get by with it. And they can't be sued and they can't be, you know, anything like that. So anyway, that goes on a lot. Um, that bothers me when that happens. And uh, and I think a lot of times the, the, they just do it and it's not out of concern for the public and it's not to try to get the truth out there. It's just to try to create this story so that they can uh, get viewers. So that's uh, my opinion on that. And I'll continue do some more educational blogs on Nichols Retirement Empire. If you haven't subscribed, Go ahead and subscribe and uh, share it with your friends. Uh, but you guys have a good day.